Hello, on today's episode on what Asia should not be doing, I am going to attempt to make shorts that fit me. I went down the rabbit hole of watching DIY thrifting. It started off with Megan Batune and then it went to Best Dressed and then like other people who I've never heard of but are really cool. And it got me thinking, none of my clothes properly fit me. And while I was watching this, I was actually wearing these mom jeans. And here's the thing, um, these actually, if you followed me last year on Instagram, these were actually long jeans. These are Levi's I got secondhand. But anyways, I got coconut oil spilt all over the bottom of the jeans and it was a whole fiasco and actually made for a really entertaining Instagram um, stories story. But I ended up cutting them and the goal was always to make them cuter, but honestly, I just got lazy. and. After watching these videos, I thought to myself, I should start looking cuter. Really. Here's the issue about my body type in particular is that, you know, I'm actually quite muscular. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have a booty, I have thighs. Sometimes if a jean fits me in my butt area, it's too big in my waist. If it fits me in my waist area, it's too small in my butt. And it just, it's just, really frustrating to go clothes shopping, which is why I just don't. I hate buying clothes, I hate it. I actually only have two pairs of shorts. These are ones that I actually bought from Topshop. They're called Mom, because I really do, I think uh, high-waisted pants just flatter me better, so I tend to go with high-waisted pants. Um, however, now they're like, they make my vagina hurt. <laughs> It suffocates it, it's uncomfortable. I think they're a little too short in the butt area to wear. I mean, high school me and college me, I would have been all about these shorts, but I'm a lady now. We are going to try to emulate these pants with these pants. But, oh, oh God. Uh, I mean, uh, it takes like, <laughs> okay, there you go. Good on the waist, not too tight. Um, lengthwise, I think frontwise, they're okay, but behind, they're a little, you know, booty. Oh, when you have to pee, it's impossible. <laughs> okay. And I'm like not even being over dramatic here, guys. It's okay, there you go. Okay, so here's what we're working with. Um, some of you might be thinking, Asia, they look really cute. What are you thinking? That's why I think I was kind of hesitant to cut into these because they look okay. Like, I mean, they're, they're mom jeans. They legitimately look like mom jeans or I'm going on some kind of hike excursion with Dora the Explorer or something. So really all we need to do is cut it a little and then distress it and fingers crossed that I don't waste basically my favorite pair of jeans. Okay, so here are the tools that I have. One pair of scissors that I don't think are fabric scissors, but they're scissors. And a measuring tape. Why? I don't know. How do we want to start this? Everything else is fine. We just need to cut it, cut it. Again, I'm not a professional, but you, I think you're just here for the ride and for the entertainment, so Fingers crossed, people. So I think what I'm going to do is line up kind of the bottom of the zipper with the bottom of the zipper here. And they're pretty much the same, but this brought it down a little bit. And shall we just cut it? Ah, I'm scared. So I got this. This is a dry erase marker. One of the girls that I follow, I saw that she used this to mark her clothes. And I guess it's because like you can wash it. So I grabbed this. So let's do, let's cut off two inches, yeah? And then if that leaves us still with a little bit of room to, you know, negotiate. Yeah, fabric scissors I assume would be much easier, but. 
feel like I'm cutting crooked, which would not surprise me. Okay, so we did it. I already like the length of it much better. Okay, so still a little longer than I would like, but I already, let's see, we cut off made like two inches, right? So how can we make this look cool? How can we make this look cool? So I could roll them, but I don't want to roll them. So let's just, how's the butt? Okay, so the butt won't be rolled as much. Okay, and then here, it goes a little smaller. Here are the marks I just did. Let's see how this will go. Okay, so we're kind of lowering the booty. Okay, so now you can see that the front is higher than the back because booty. All right, so let's do the other side. The height or the length is so much better. Man, these shorts feel like 30 times lighter now, actually. Also, I'm saving, I think I'm gonna save the extra denim and try to make the boys, the dogs, uh, bow ties because I'm that kind of dog mom, but okay. So length, I'm really happy with. I think the back is slightly uneven, but I think once we distress it and stuff, it won't be uh, like super bad. Let's see. Ooh. Boop, boop. So to de-stress them, I have tweezers, and then I have an X-Acto knife. And I don't actually know why I have this, but I found it, so we will use it. The thing I've noticed about how I live my life with distressed jeans is that when they're this distressed with all these holes, I find myself stepping into these instead of the actual leg holes, therefore ripping them and ripping them and ripping them. So I think I just wanna do maybe like baby distressed and then maybe a little booty distress. I'm gonna take the pocket out because I don't want to accidentally like rip through the pockets because I actually use them. So I'll use the scrap denim so I don't go through the other side and take my X-Acto knife, ooh, that's sharp, and just, just go for it. I marked this for some reason and <laughs> What am I doing? Okay, let's go. Did I go through? Oh, we did it. Look, that's my finger. Okay, now what? Ah, that doesn't really work. Let's take maybe this backhand of the scissors and just kind of mess it up a little. Is that doing anything? Yeah, kind of. Cool. And I think once I put this in the wash, it'll like fray more. Like all of this is gonna fray in the wash and stuff. Hmm. I'm like afraid to do more. I'm afraid to like mess it up. There we go. La. Distress, distress. I actually kind of maybe want to do one cut over here. I kind of like the peekaboo peek butt. Kind of like that look. So let's do it right over here, I think. Fortunately for me, I actually have to do laundry, so I'm gonna just toss that in and then all of these loose, what are these called? What are these called? These loose threads will like loosen up 
and then let's see how it ends up. Watch it like I take it out of the wash and it's like this short because all the threads just went up this way. That would happen to me. Just got it out of the dryer and look at how like cute and frayed it all looks. Definitely doesn't look like what it did not only like an hour ago. These turned out really cute. I'm glad I didn't distress them too much. I like how they're just naturally pulling apart. And let's see the booty. Let's see how these turn out. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with it. So I think I just love how naturally, so we cut off like it was down here, a good four inches and then tailored it a little bit, tailored it to how it's shorter up front, but longer on the bottom. And I think what I might do is just kind of cut some of these off. I'm not sure I'm gonna live with it for a while, but I love just how naturally it looks worn in and I can still sit in it and it's still comfortable and I can bend and do whatever. So, oh, I can't believe I did that, Levi. Ah! Mama did it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so hyped, Lukey. Mom is so hyped. I cannot believe I just did that. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.